Kremlin instructed to mobilize 300,000 troops for new offensive. In the near future, the Russian authorities plan to mobilize at least 300,000 troops to begin an operation to encircle the second largest city in Ukraine, Kharkiv, four informed sources told Verstka. The next in the plan is Kharkiv and holding the city. This is possibly only in the case of the encirclement. There is a shortage of 300,000 troops. Therefore, everything is ready for mobilization. 2.0, said a source of the publication in the internal political bloc of the presidential administration. According to him, no one wants to turn Kharkiv into a second Mariupol, so there is an idea to make it a showcase of how Russians know how to fight in a civilized way. The need to mobilize 300,000 troops was confirmed by one of Verstka's sources from one of the Western military district offices. The source noted that recruitment to the front could begin as early as March the 25th. They'll try to call reservists to fight in Ukraine, men who are in reserve but have signed a contract with the Ministry of Defense on inclusion in the mobilization Human Reserve. They can work at any job but twice a year they are obliged to go to military training camps, which until 2022 were formal. There are about 2 million of them in Russia. Something is planned. Reservists are being recruited now before mobilization. Whether it will happen or not, I do not know, but last time the procedure was the same, says an officer of one of the military bases in the Zabekalsky Krai of Russia. Although military enlistment offices will begin work with those who have not signed contracts with the Ministry of Defense but are in the reserve of the armed forces, including those dismissed from service, those who studied at military universities, those who did not serve for any reason, those who completed alternative civilian service, and women with military specialities. Military enlistment offices have pasted mobilization orders into military tickets of many of them previously. They will also try to send conscripts to the war whose terms are about to end. The task is to sign contracts with those who are ending their service by April and those who ended service last year, says a source close to the presidential administration. They will be persuaded by all means, the interlocutor from the presidential administration confirmed. A new wave of mobilization is also possible. The largest seaport in Russia's St. Petersburg region has stopped handling explosive ammonium nitrate amid drone attacks. Commerson writes about this with reference to informed sources. An official source told the publication that the Russian government is wary of a possible provocation that could have devastating consequences. The port receives and ships about 3 million tons of saltpeter annually. The interlocutors of the newspaper noted that producers are looking for other export options. The most convenient option may be the UST Luff terminal. But for this, the terminal needs to be improved. The complex receives some 7 million metric tons a year of gas condensate, a type of light oil, from Novaket's Pirovsky plant in western Siberia to produce oil products such as naphtha, jet fuel, and gas oil. Novatex complex produces mostly naphtha for Asia, including China, Singapore, Taiwan and Malaysia, as well as jet fuel with delivery to Istanbul for Turkish Airlines. Analysts said Novatech will now be forced to export more gas condensate instead of high-margin fuel via other terminals, sources of the newspaper said that the demand for saltpeter in the market is expected to increase, ammonium nitrate is an inorganic chemical used as a fertilizer in agriculture. When the temperature rises to 170 degrees, the decomposition process begins, in case of ignition of ammonium nitrate, the explosion can have destructive power, since the beginning of the war, the Ukrainian army has started targeting Petersburg for the first time since the beginning of the year. The city has already been attacked by drones several times. BPLA упал. BPLA, беспилотник. Вон люди стоят, до хрена скорых, ну, короче, у этих двух домов нет света, вот у этих, короче, жесть, просто, есть что-то, видимо, может, просыпался.